Hello everyone, welcome to the next five minutes or less video. This is going to be on the Earth spheres. Here we go. The first sphere of the Earth that we're going to talk about is the lithosphere. This is a fancy name for the land on the Earth, so all the continents, anything you can walk on. The lithosphere is solid, and that makes sense because you can walk on it. The two main elements that are in the lithosphere, if you were to start breaking up most of the rock on the planet, is going to be mostly silicon and oxygen, which are two elements on the periodic table. They're the most popular ones. Now, in terms of parts, there are two types of crust on the planet. We have continental crust, which is what the continents are made out of. That is made of granite, like in your kitchen countertop maybe, mostly granite, and it's not very dense. Oceanic crust is very, very thin, which is the opposite of the continental crust. Continental crust is very thick, so these are like opposites here, thick and thin. This one's made of granite as opposed to oceanic being made of basalt. And continental is not very dense, while the oceanic crust is very dense. Now the idea here is that since the oceanic crust here is more dense, it's going to go underneath the continental crust when they hit each other. So this continent over here is hitting into the oceanic floor, and the oceanic floor here has no choice but to go underneath because it's more dense, and then eventually it melts and comes up and makes some volcanoes. The next sphere of the Earth is the hydrosphere. This is just all the water on the planet. There's a lot of water on the Earth. This is all in the oceans, the lakes, the glaciers, the rivers, all water. The next layer is the atmosphere, so this is all the gases and the sky and everything we breathe in. The atmosphere has four different layers in itself, so they're like sub-layers. The sky has four layers. Most of the atmosphere is nitrogen. A lot of people think it's mostly oxygen, but if you look at this breakdown in this picture, it's mostly nitrogen. In terms of the four layers in the sky, if you were to start down here in the troposphere, which is the bottom layer, if you were standing there, it gets cold in the troposphere as you go up, and then when you hit the stratosphere, it starts to get warm. And then when you hit the third layer, the mesosphere, it starts to get cold again, and then the thermosphere, it starts to get warm. So we know when the boundaries change based on where the temperature is headed. If it's getting colder to switching to getting warmer, we know we've entered the next layer. All right, so now we're going to go into the Earth. Here's our four layers, just so you see them all in one picture here. We got the crust, which is the outside layer. Then we got the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. So we're going to divide it into four layers here. Crust, mantle, outer core, inner core. So a couple facts about each one. The crust is extremely thin. We live on it, and it's solid. And we said before that this is the lithosphere. It's made of silicon and oxygen. The mantle is underneath the crust and it's made up of hot semi-solid rock. It's like sort of known as a plastic mantle. It's like slime sort of, but very, very hot. So it's not fully liquefied. Then we got the outer core, which is underneath the mantle. This is liquid because it's so hot as you go down into the earth, and it's mostly made of iron and nickel, which are two metals. These iron and nickel, uh, this iron and nickel liquid is actually rotating and it creates the Earth's magnetic field. This is what they look like if you were to pull them out of each other. We got the crust here, we got the mantle, and then the outer core and the inner core, which we're going to do last. The inner core is solid. Even though it's so hot down there, the weight of the whole planet is pressing on this inner core. It's like the pit of the Earth. So it ends up solidifying, and it's also made of iron and nickel. Alright, thanks for joining me on this video, and I will see you on the next one. Good luck, bye.